Well, my magnets came in today, so I was able to uh, put them down, but I did something totally different with these magnets. Since I only got like four packs and they only come with two pairs, and it cost like $4.39. So what I did is that I took them to work, put them on the metal saw, and I cut them in half. So I have 12, I had 12 of them in all. Now I have 24 pieces. So I was able to uh, distribute them all the way around the layout. I got three over here on this end. I got one there on that end, and then I got the two over here on this yard, that fun drop area. And to be honest, they work a whole, they work better than the long ones. It doesn't matter as long as you got some magnets down there to do the uncoupling. But uh, that was a good idea to do is cut them in half and then just use them. And uh, I'm gonna try see if it'll work again on this piece here. Let's put it at five. Let's see if it'll work. Ah, looks perfect. And like I said, like I said earlier in one of my videos, uh, if you just set your uh, speed table to the value of 25 and 11 and uh, set your notch at 5, all you have to do is just use your full one in reverse and it makes it a whole lot easier when you're doing switching in the yard because you already got it at a good pace. Let's see if I can do this again on another car. See how it turns out. I got the one right there too. And just a little shove back. And voila. Perfect. Just perfect. And so, like I said, if you cut them in half, they're going to work even better. It doesn't matter. It's all about just making sure that coupler uncouple at a slow rate. Like I said, I uh, set my value at 25 and 11, and then uh, set my notch at 5, and voila. I have a good pace, and everything works good. So, plus it saves you about almost, what, $2? Cutting them in half, because they cost $4.39 a pack. So, think about it. All right. Hope you enjoy. See you.